stringent. Complete protection of the joint was achieved at the field joint coating station, where the joint was first grit blasted to achieve a high adhesion profile, followed by a coat of fusion bonded epoxy. At this point, the pipe was pulled further through the firing line and tape wrap was applied for further mechanical protection. Once a string of 12 joints had passed through the first welding station, a new string would start. Once the 12th joint of a string reached the coating station, the string would then be pulled out onto the extended firing line beyond the fabrication shed and 50-ton excavators would be used to lift the intermediate length stalks from the mainline facility over to the ready rack. Then an intermediate stalk was lifted onto the tie-in line rollers. The internal clamp inserted and the stalk was pulled down to the end of the rollers. A second stalk was then positioned on the ready rack. Aligned to the other stalk and the tie-in weld was performed using the mobile tie-in facility. Here the same rigid testing and coating procedures as the main line were performed, ensuring complete joint consistency. Once three intermediate stalks had been joined, three large excavators moved this final stalk to the pipe storage rack, ready for spooling onto the CSO Apache. In total, the project scope entailed the production of 2,106 carbon steel mainline welds, 137 carbon steel mainline tie-ins, plus 21 duplex mainline welds. The CSO Apache arrived at the spool base on the 16th of January 2008. With her sophisticated dynamic positioning system and a range of offshore construction equipment, the CSO Apache can lay pipe with an unrivaled degree of accuracy and has set new records for deep water pipe lay. With all the pipe stalks ready to go, the first of three two-day spooling operations began. Harnessing the elastic and plastic properties of steel, the stalk was wound steadily onto the reel through a set of approach rollers, until the other end of the stalk was finally at the end of the spool base. Operations on shore then began the intricate manoeuvring of the next stalk from the storage rack to the ready rack where it was then aligned and welded to the first stalk in the mobile tie-in station. After welding, testing and coating, a combined two-hour process, the extended pipe stalk was then pulled on board the Apache and the process repeated until almost nine kilometers of pipe was spooled onto the Apache's reel. Up to five stalks could be reeled and tied in during each shift. As soon as the last stalk was on board, the Apache began to pull up its anchors and set sail for the Coupe gas field. In all, almost 27,000 metres of high quality subsea gas pipeline for the Coupe project was laid in three trips by the CSO Apache. The final pipe reeled on the 4th of February 2008, well ahead of schedule. The McConnell Dowell Coupe Spool Base project demonstrated McConnell Dowell's proven ability to construct and operate a world class temporary spool base facility under tight deadlines and to the highest quality standards. McConnell Dowell Constructors, Creative Construction.